play Mega Man 4. Let's go and rain on Kazak's parade. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. This is Dr. Kazak's Citadel. Four stages long. Your classic Wily Castle length. Let's do this. All right, stage one. Starting off outside the Citadel, we gotta make our way inside. Introduce some new enemies, these uh, springs. These slinkies. Very... Whatever, I mean, they're not that tough. They don't, they don't really do much of anything. They're just, they're slinkies. They're... I don't know what to say about them. Level one is going to be a lot of uh, ice platforms. So, yeah. These guys, you can just use the, uh, rain flush. Boom. Alright. Alright, so you know what? I'm excited. New villain. I wonder what he's gonna have in store for us. This bit's actually pretty difficult. You got to, uh, time your jumps. Not just, uh, avoiding the, uh, Sniper Joe's bone bones that they throw at you, but you just gotta make sure you avoid these things and don't fall to your death. Very Russian. The scenery that we got going on back there. Appropriate though, since Dr. Cossack is a Russian scientist, Dr. Sergei Cossack. Not much is known about this guy, as the beginning of the game said, he's a mysterious scientist, a recluse, if you will, living in a citadel, but one day decided to go to war with Mega Man. I don't I don't know why. Maybe he saw what Wily was doing and was like, you know what? I can do that. And I can do that better. Too bad I wasn't counting on Dr. Light giving Mega Man a super powerful Mega Buster that kind of makes short work of most of his robot masters. It's a little bit of oversight. This bit here, you can just use Rush Coil to uh, safely make your way through. This bit here, I'd use Rush Jet and just uh, jet your way over to the last uh, ladder over here. Because this is your way up. The other ones just take you to some uh, weapon energy, which is good. Because just like in the Wily Castles, your weapon energy does not uh, refill in between levels. So, conserve, conserve, conserve. Also, keep an eye out for the uh, Dr. Cossack logos above the doors. Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes, they will give you hints as to boss weaknesses. Take Mothraya, I believe is its name. Yeah, Ma take Mothraya, for instance. You saw the, uh, the color of the Cossack logo, it's kind of gold, so take out your ring boomerang, and lo and behold, it's Mothraya's weakness. Now, Mothraya shoots uh, some beams at you, also occasionally uh, dives down to try and hit you. It also occasionally unleashes its drill to destroy some of the platform. It does have the capabilities to destroy the entire platforms and make some bottomless pits in the stage, so take care of Mothraya as quick as possible. And yeah, that's uh, that's it. I like that thing. Very foreboding. 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 That's the word. Yeah, I got it. I also love this, uh, this castle theme for Cossack. Very appropriate. It's very nice. Anyway, Cossack stage two. More of the same from stage one. No more ice platforms, because now we're inside the, uh, the Citadel proper. Actually, right here you're gonna see a uh, rush jet in better, much, uh, much better form, because we're gonna be using it for uh, for quite a stretch here. Basically, it always goes in one direction, just like item two from Mega Man Two, but you can control the uh, the up and down of it, and you can't stop it. And yeah, there's Rush Jet. These platforms are pretty interesting. They uh, require some timed jumps, but nothing you can't handle by this point of the game. Or by this point of the series. I 
I just used Rush Jet to uh, skip those bottom two platforms. Their timing's a little bit off. The top two platforms don't have that problem. For, for the uh, for the bottom two, they the timing's a little bit off for the jumps. By the way, the wire adapter. I mentioned earlier that uh, it can be used as a weapon as well. Both against enemies and bosses, so it's pretty cool. Again, we're going to be seeing that to a much greater, greater effect in a little bit. Against particular bosses in the final stages here. Another deceptively tricky jump. Make sure you're right at the edge as you jump. And unlike uh, Mega Man 3's Wily Castle, always take advantage of the weapon energy that's given to you in Dr. Kazak Citadel. Because in Kazak Citadel, we're back to the uh, the regular conserve, conserve, conserve mentality that uh, you don't know how much weapon energy you're going to get back. So, you know, make sure you don't use all that much, only when you have to. And make sure that, you know, you collect your weapon energy at every possible opportunity. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. But uh, basically, you want to... Try to uh, force this thing up, and then you can jump down and, you know, collect all the goodies in there. Including health, weapon energy, always important in a final castle, and an E-Tank. E-Tanks hidden behind a wall, those walls can only be destroyed with the drill bombs. As you see. Alright. Smooth working. Ooh, a life. We could use rush coil and timer jumps on those uh, on those platforms, or we can just use the wire adapter and make our way up there much easier. As you see. Boom. Now, once again, take a look at the uh, Dr. Cossack logo. It's gray. So get out your gray weapon, which is the Dust Crusher, because that is going to be the weakness of... Of the Square Machine. Yes, it's actually called the Square Machine. <laughs> all right, all right. Basically, um, it uh, splits apart into three pieces. It's gonna go leave the screen. When it comes back, these are gonna come back really, really fast, uh, kind of medium speed, or really, really slow. When it comes in really, really slow. That's when you know the square machine is going to put itself together. So you're going to want to jump in to the bottom platform and, you know, make sure you're in there as the square machine has fully formed. Because only when the square machine is fully formed will the big red orb at the top be available for hitting. So yeah, when it's going medium speed or super fast speed, just slide under it or uh, jump on the bottom platform and then jump off as it passes through. Square Machine's weak to Dust Crusher. It's also kind of weak to a Drill Bomber, but use Dust Crusher. Dust Crusher is much better. And it's the one that's recommended to you by the Dr. Cossack logo, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Okay, stage three of Cossack Citadel. New gimmick for this stage, something we don't really see in Mega Man all that often, for good reason. It's a scrolling stage, auto-scrolling stage. You only move one way, you can't go back, and you have to move at a certain speed, which is what I don't like about it, the whole moving at a certain speed thing. It's good this doesn't appear all too much in Mega Man, because this... It's not my favorite kind of gimmick. It's not that bad. And the music certainly make music certainly helps. Making this a lot more bearable than it would normally be, but uh going really slowly, it's uh eh. Nah, it's not it's not my thing. Although this is used to pretty good effect at the end of the stage. As the auto scrolling becomes a um an enemy in itself. You you you'll see what I mean when we get closer to the end of the stage. I mean, the, the auto scrolling is already kind of an enemy because it's always this constant looming threat of you uh, not being fast enough or not making your jumps quick enough or not solving what you have to do in this part of the stage fast enough and then you die. 
But you'll, you'll see what I mean more when we get to the end of the stage. On why this uh, becomes such a an enemy that you have to uh, make sure you don't get hit by. Or crushed by. I'm still rambling. Alright. I'm good now. You get a little break from the auto-scrolling there, but as soon as you go up those ladders, it's uh, it's back. These platforms are part of the uh, that thing I was rambling about earlier. If you stand on them, they go down slowly. If you jump, they uh, they go up. So you can use that to your advantage to uh, make some space for your jumps. Almost done with the stage, actually. It's uh, not too much longer from this point. Um... Again, though, going at a certain pace—that's uh, that's not my thing. I, I don't like this. Is what I was talking about. You have to jump on that last platform there as soon as possible, and make sure you have hurry on down, or else you'll be crushed to death by the auto-scrolling screen. To get that E-Tank, you just have to use the uh, Balloon Upgrade. If you don't have the Balloon Upgrade, you can't get that E-Tank. But if you do, then you just ride it and then slide into that hole. And that's it. But the Cossack logo is kind of goldish again, so take out your Ring Boomerang. Although, although, this uh, cockroach robot that's going to appear is also weak to Pharaoh Shot or the Drill Bombs. Pharaoh Shot takes the same amount of damage as it does from the Mega Buster, so, you know. Maybe don't use Pharaoh Shot, but the uh, the Drill Bombs or the Ring Boomerang are what you want to use for this thing. <clears throat> There's two doors, though, so that's a little, that's a little weird. Anyway, this thing's going to go back and forth. It's going to uh, either shoot from its two cannons on the side or the cannon directly on it, the top of its head. And hey, we killed one, the other one shows up. All right, so these are the Cockroach Twins. The second Cockroach Twin is a lot more, uh, a lot more difficult. It goes around the entire screen. It's going to shoot four shots from the two cannons on its side, or one big homing shot from the cannon on its head. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Cockroach number one is pretty easy. Cockroach number two is a little bit more difficult, a little bit faster, but nothing you can't handle, especially with the Ring Boomerang. And yeah, all right, just like that, we're at the final level of the game. And that's pretty cool. Just like in Pharaoh Man's stage, there's alternating paths. Now, a uh, little peek behind the scenes. I did actually die here, which is why uh, you don't see that, but I did actually die. That's why there are uh, large weapon energy pellets there, as there should be. Or why there isn't a life behind that uh, drill bombable wall at the bottom of the screen there. There's supposed to be an E-Tank there. Not a life, an E-Tank. And weapon energy at the top, but uh, I died, so. I was taking this advantage to uh, this time to show off the drill bomb and how it uh, explodes before it hits an enemy. Again, you're going to see that to much greater effect a little later. And when it actually becomes extremely, extremely important. Here's where the alternating paths actually happen. You can choose to either go up the ladder the normal way, or if you have the wire adapter, only if you have the wire adapter. I think maybe you can do it with a rush coil, but uh, much easier with the wire adapter. You can head up onto this path, which is the shortcut. The much easier of the two paths, because you got a free tank. The only enemies you have to take on are the slinkies. even though I get hit by a slinky. And that's it. We're back to where the two alternating pads would would uh, connect back together. But let's show off the other path, the much longer path. We actually get to go back uh, outside to the uh, night sky here. Something about uh, Mega Man 4, by the way. In Mega Man 3, you can uh, collect lives up to the double digits. And E-Tanks, I guess, up to the double digits. In Mega Man 4 onward, you can only have up to uh, 9 E-Tanks and 9 lives, which is technically 10 lives because 0 counts as a life. So, you know, just something to keep aware of. 
And at a certain point, you're not going to need lives because this game's pretty easy, and you're just going to be collecting lives like uh, like hotcakes. Any tanks like hotcakes. Although later on, we're going to be using quite a bit of E tanks. I mean, this is a longer path, you know. It's longer, but it still has, you know, a free life, weapon energy. It's not. It's not bad. It's not. Uh, it's not bad if you couldn't uh, get into that special, super secret, simple path like before, from before. But uh, the super secret, simple path is much better. As you can see, we're we're back. All right. So with both paths, sh both paths shown off. Let's finish the game. Unlike Dr. Wily, Dr. Cossack isn't a fan of uh, boss refights, so we're not going to actually see that here. This is the home stretch, the last hallway, and there we go. Don't be fooled by that red Cossack logo. His weakness is actually Dust Crusher or the Mega Buster. Drill Bomb is pretty ineffective against the Cossack Catcher, which is the final boss of the game. Here we go, Dr. Cossack. Dr. Cossack's Cossack Catcher, the Cossack Machine, takes a little bit to get started. Basically, he's got two cannons on the side, shoots three uh, Metul-like shots. He will try to dive down to hit you, or crush you with the Cossack Catcher. He'll also try to dive down to catch you with the Cossack Catcher. Don't let him do that. You can't pause the game and use an E-Tank if, do, if he does that, and he will throw you down and do a lot of damage. That's pretty much all there is to the Cossack Catcher. Not a very difficult final boss if you ask me. He tried to catch me there, he didn't. I'm gonna end this in style with the Mega Buster. Even though I get hit and thus don't get to end it in style. Come on. Boom. What? Proto Man? What are you- Please Mega Man don't- My father's not really evil. What? Dr. Wily? He's alive? Don't hurt my- okay, we'll, we'll back off. But Dr. Wily's alive? Really? He didn't get cr- uh Oh. Oh boy. Well. This is a shocking turn of events. If you've never played Mega Man 4 before. Join me next time for the finale of Let's Play Mega Man 4. I guess we're going after Dr. Wily again. All right. See you then.